Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program the most basic and essential functions on the jumper T light radio for your drone. Now, after you power on the radio, the first step is to program a new model for your RC aircraft. And to do that, just go to the menu button here, press and hold it down. Then you can toggle down. In the screen here, number 5 is empty, so I'm going to use that. I'll hit enter to select. I'm going to create model, so I'll go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so now we have model 5. You could go ahead and change that name from model 5 to whatever you want to call it. So hit the menu button again, go down to the name and then you could press on the enter key and once again use the up down arrow to toggle the alphabet letters so for simplicity i'm going, just going to call it model a that will be the name of our model so hit enter aircraft a is going to use this spectrum receiver so let me put on the bind plug so depending on the receiver that you're using to set it into binding mode, some do not use a bind plug. Some of them will require you to use the software and enter a command prompt, a command line in the in the CLI of the Betaflight to turn on the binding mode for your receiver on your drone. So it really depends on the receiver that you're using for your drone. But for this demo, I'm using a traditional receiver that is uh, six channels. And here I've put in the bind plug to the binding channel which is the battery and now I'm going to go ahead and power on the receiver using the power bank and now it's in binding mode that's done for the receiver now while the receiver is trying to listen for a transmitting source we can go ahead to the T light jumper radio now to do the binding we need to go to the correct options in the menu so let's scroll down all the way to the bottom Alright, I'm going to stop right here at this option called the internal RF. So for my jumper T light, I'm using the internal built-in RF module, which is the one that supports the multi protocol. So I'm going to turn on this internal module. If you're using an external module, which you plug to the back of your T light radio, then you have to turn on the other one, which is this one, the external RF module. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the internal one and to do that I'm going to hit on the enter and once again toggle up or down so when I toggle up it's going to ask me which protocol I'm using right now the module mode is in multi that's the multi protocol and I'm going to leave it as such instead I'm going to change the type to DSM because that's the type of receiver that I'm using so I'm going to go down to type hit the enter and then I'm going to toggle I'm going to toggle it to DSM yep DSM and hit enter to confirm now I'm going down to the subtype so for the subtype, there are different types of DSM receiver. We have DSM version 1, version 2, and DSM X. So it doesn't really matter if you are not sure, you could just go to the subtype. Okay, and then you could toggle it to auto. Okay, auto will do the auto selection. It will detect the receiver and select the correct subtype for you. So I will hit enter. Now to do the binding, you got to go down to receiver. And in the receiver option here, you could see this 00, zero bind and range. So we are going to move to the bind, which is in the middle. And to, to do that, hit the menu button. All right, now I'm going to hit the enter button to start the binding process. power off 
the receiver, remove the bind plug, power it back on. And there you have it. It's now bound to the jumper T light. You can see the solid orange light here. At this point, it's a good idea to hook up a servo to the receiver to make sure the receiver is working. Now, most drones will require you to arm the motors before you can start flying, except for the old DJI NASA where you could arm using the sticks on the transmitter. Now, the switch I'm going to use to arm the motors would be switch D, which is this switch here. And the channel which I'm going to use on the receiver would be channel 5 which is the gear, this one here, this is channel 5. I'm going to use the gear channel or channel 5 to arm the motors. So what we're going to do is to make sure that switch over there, SD, SWD, switch D, controls channel 5 of the receiver. So the first step is to define the input. Go to inputs menu, which is page 5. Then go down to input number 5, this one here, and hit enter and edit. I'm going to leave the input name as such, which is i05, which is input 5, that's fine. So I'm not going to change that, leave it blank. Now I'm going to move down to the name. For the name, I would like to call it something more meaningful. So I'm going to call it ARM. Um. It's bad of me. Alright, that's done. Hit enter. Now this is important. This is the source. I remember I said I'm going to use this switch. So I have to define the source for the input, which is this. To do that, hit enter. And see what happens when I push a switch. Like if I push a switch here, see it's changed to SC because this switch here is SC. But I do not want to use switch C. I want to use switch D. So I'm going to move this switch deliberately. And it has detected the movement and changed to switch D. That's the correct switch. So I'm going to hit enter to save it. The rest of the settings are pretty much unchanged. Let's hit return to get out of here. Now let's go to the next menu, which is the mix. Now we need to configure a mix for this switch. To do that, I'm going to use channel 5. So I'm going to set up a mix for channel 5 because channel 5 is the channel that we're going to use. Press enter. For the mix name, I'm going to call it arm. enter the save. Okay, for the source, remember our source is input 5, so that is correct. For the weight, this one is the end points, so if you set this number to 80%, it would mean that the two positions of this mix will be at 80% instead of 100. So I'm going to have full travel, negative 100 to 100, so I'm going to leave this value unchanged. For the rest of the settings, they are the same. So let's get out of here by hitting return. Okay, now we need to go to the next page of the menu. 
output. Now we will define the output. So we are using channel 5, hit enter, edit. So the name, I'm going to call it arm again for consistency. done now for the sub trim and the minimum and max value I'm not changing anything also for the curve we're not going to require any curve because it's just a simple two positions so I'm not going to assign any curve to the output the rest of the settings are default so that's done now if I toggle the switch here, yep, we're getting a response. Now the switch I'm going to use for adjusting the flight modes of the drone would be this switch here. This is switch A, SWA. It's a three position switch. And the channel I'm going to use on the receiver would be channel 6. It would be this one here, OS1. So this will be channel 6 and it's called OS1 on my receiver. Now let's go ahead and program the settings. First of all, we need to set up the flight modes. Take note that you should not use the first flight mode FM0. So we should use FM1, flight mode 1, hit enter. Now for the mode name, I'm going to call this angle mode because in better flight we're going to have angle, horizon and acro. So the first flight mode I'm going to call it angle, hit enter. Just bear with me for a while. Okay, I'm going to call A and G for short, which is angle. For the switch, hit enter. And remember how we could simply define the switch by moving the switch that we have in mind. I'm going to use switch A, so I'm going to move this switch. Yep, that's done. Switch A appears. So I'm going to save that by hitting enter. Now for the rest of the settings, it's default. So let's get out of here by hitting return. Now let's do the same for flight mode 2, which is horizon. Hit enter. I'm going to call it Horizon, enter again, H, spare me, O, H or R for short, okay, Horizon, and the switch, once again, hit enter, and move the same switch. Now for horizon mode, right, it will be the center position of the switch. So I need to position the switch in the middle. Save it. So we have two flight modes. Okay, so down position is actually angle. If we move it up to the middle, that's horizon. Now we have to configure the third position, which is here. Now let's hit enter. And this will be acro. Let's 
uh, for me. Okay, ACR short for acro. And the switch, hit enter. See, it's not showing the switch position unless you move it, so we have to move it deliberately. But remember to set it up to the correct position, which is this position, the highest position, since the other two positions were already used previously. Let's save it by hitting enter and get out of here. Okay, so now as we toggle the switch in the between the three positions, we could see that we have anger, horizon, and acro. So the flight modes have been configured. Now let's move on to the next page, which is to configure the inputs. Remember we are using channel 6. So here move to channel 6, hit enter. And for the input name, I'm going to call it, hit enter. I'm going to call it flight mode and F for short. So I'm just going to put F for flight, flight mode. Save it. For the source, hit enter. And remember the source would be this switch here. Yep. So it doesn't matter which position you're in now because we are just defining the source, which is this switch. And that's switch A, that's A, which is switch A here. That is correct. Save it by hitting enter. For the rest of the settings, they are default. So let's get out of here by hitting the return. So that's done for input. Now let's move on to the next page, which would be the mixes. So for the mix, we are using channel 6. Move to channel 6. And hit enter. For the mix name, I'm going to call it F for consistency. It's like what we did earlier. So hit enter. And yep. This is F, F for short, short for flight mode. Enter to save it. And for the source, this is important. We have to set it. So you can see if I toggle up and down, there are different sources. It's rather I5 is the arm position. Input F, right, right, this is uh, the input that we set earlier, which is called F. So that's the correct input. I'm going to save it. The rest of the stuff are default. So let's get out of here by hitting return. Finally, we can check the output. Let's move to the next page here, page 7, page 7 outputs, we are using channel 6, Let's hit enter, edit, I'm going to call this F for consistency again, F for flight modes, hit enter, F, save it. Now once again for curve right, I'm going to leave it default because we don't need any fancy curve it's a three position it's a three position switch anyway so it'll be a simple three point curve and we don't have to assign a curve to it unless you want a custom curve for the outputs so i'm going to leave it as such and exit so that's done for the flight modes on the main page here when you adjust the flight mode, you can see the flight mode changing. See, if I'm in angle mode now, it says AMG. In middle position, horizon, and top position, acro. So this is very useful because it gives you the indication of which flight mode you are in. 
Alright, let's hook up the receiver and test with the servo again to see that the flight modes are actually set correctly and working. Alright, hook up the servo to channel 6 on the receiver and now I'm going to toggle the flight mode switch on the T light radio. Yep. Well, that's how you could set up your T light jumper radio here to control the flight modes using a three position switch and to arm the motors of your drone using a two position switch. It's not the easiest system as compared to the non open TX system out there in the market. So I hope you find this video useful and I'll see you again.